It's finally over. The Texans have traded for Stefan Diggs. It's explicit. I feel like I'm back. And Josh Allen and Diggs will be separated. Finally, there's always been rumors that they didn't get along with uh, the sideline tirade. So we're going to talk about this from multiple perspectives. Obviously, Josh Allen is a cyborg, but which wide receivers will he actually be throwing to? Are we really looking forward to a Curtis Samuel-led wide receiver room? Both of these guys are gone. Gabriel Davis gone. Heck, the Buffalo Bills have also lost Poyer, right? And Micah Hyde. And, of course, the great Tredavious White. They are all freaking gone. Is it just going to be the Khalil Shakur show? So, Shakur, Shakur. So, we're going to look at this, obviously, from multiple perspectives. Let's start with the Buffalo Bills in the AFC East. I have never seen an elite quarterback get so rated with skilled position talent in one offseason in an offense where they've not really supplied him with a ton of wide receiver talent to throw the football to. I think James Cook is an okay running back. They did a good job drafting him out of Georgia. Dalton Kincaid, to me, was a reach. As a first-year tight end, he seemed to be okay. They did overpay for Dawson Knox, and which is weird because they also drafted Dalton Kincaid. And then, of course, you have the whole situation where you have – uh, an OC and Ken Dorsey that he's comfortable with, and then you make him the fall guy and you bring in Joe Brady. And the offense, of course, was still really good with Joe Brady. And, of course, I'm a big Joe Brady fan with an LSU background. But was Ken Dorsey really that bad? I don't know. This offense has just never made sense. And the Buffalo Bills have obviously struggled with really addressing the big problem, which isn't Diggs. It isn't the defense. It isn't the injuries. The biggest issue is Sean McDermott. He is not a big-time coach. Is he an okay coach? Yes, but he's a defensive-minded guy who has come up short in the big moment, time in and time out, and all the blame just seems to always happen to fall at the feet of Josh Allen. So, you know, I think overall the complicated marriage, of course there was uh, some preseason stuff this year before the year began, with uh, Diggs and Allen, and he had to speak up for it. Uh, But still, this was an unbelievable marriage, right? I think Stephon Diggs increased his chances of making it into the Pro Football Hall of Fame eventually because he did get to play with one of the best quarterbacks, and he never really had elite target competition uh, that he had to go up against at the wide receiver position because Gabe Davis was so inconsistent and hurt. Uh, you know, Trent Sherfield, Khalil Shakur, and the list goes on and on. There never really was another elite weapon. So uh, Diggs going from Minnesota, now to Buffalo, and now to Houston. And before we get into the C.J. Stroud, Houston Texan side of things, I am really worried about the future of the Buffalo Bills. This division is stacked, right? New England is getting a fresh start, and they will have a new quarterback, more than likely with the third overall pick, unless they trade back, of course. And then Aaron Rodgers, I think the Jets will be better. They have um, an unbelievable running back and and Brees Hall and wide receiver and, and, and Garrett Wilson. And then, of course, you have the Miami Dolphins, who many will feel is the favorite. Now, um, are the Dolphins the favorites in the AFC uh, East now? I I would say so. I I mean, Buffalo just doesn't have any pass catchers now. Once again, a Curtis Samuel, Khalil Shakur wide receiver grouping just doesn't make sense, and they are putting more on the plate of Josh Allen. Now, let's take a look at this from a Texans perspective. There's Diggs doing the Ronaldo. Huh? Now, if you love deep NFL breakdowns such as this, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, because C.J. Stroud is the most hyped young quarterback in the NFL. Unbelievable rookie season, as many of you know. And it did help that he had an ecosystem full of talented pass catchers. Obviously, Nico Collins is a rising star. And then, of course, they get Tank Dell back from injury when they inexplicably made him block uh, at the goal line, which 
never made a whole lot of sense to me. <laughs> but CJ Stroud is a real deal, and his stock only goes up now with Stephon Diggs. Or does it? Was this a move the Texans really needed to make? I am not sure, right? I am a huge Tank Dell guy. I think Dalton Schultz is really good. And for me, Texans have a relatively decent offensive line. They went and got Joe Mixon uh, this offseason. Is this offense now the best offense in the AFC from top to bottom or on paper, if you will, right? Of course, everyone's going to say Kansas City because they're the Super Bowl champions. But offensively, the Chiefs weren't really all that great this year. And you got to remember, the Texans bring back their offensive coordinator and Bobby Slowick, right? Are they going to want to run the football more this year? Maybe they will with the mix coming in. But, you know, for me, I, I part of me is, is a little disappointed here because – I'm a huge underdog fantasy drafter, and I've already been doing a ton of drafts for the next offseason, and you can too. All you got to do is sign up using my promo code Carter. You get a deposit match bonus, and I have been doing a ton of C.J. Stroud stacks with Nico Collins and Tank Dell, and from a fantasy perspective, that obviously hurts me in a major way Uh, because Stephon Diggs is coming in, and look, maybe Diggs is is dust now maybe he doesn't eat into uh the targets as much as we think uh, of tank dell and nico collins this is a very aggressive move i'm going to be interested I, I you know i'm recording this as it broke i'm going to be interested to see like the full compensation uh details of this but man the texans look like they are really pushing it in here with cj and in theory this actually makes this uh, a, a move that makes a ton of sense when you have the quarterback on the rookie pay scale, right? So if you have a quarterback as good as C.J. Stroud, it gets you put as many weapons in front of him as you possibly can. Maybe they are equipping themselves for a potential injury to one of the three. And, you know, this offense did miss uh, something explosive without Tank Dell being a part of this group. But still, you know, I look at this, Texans defense, of course, they got a young player in Will Anderson. The secondary is fine. Christian Harris is fine. Maybe this compensation could have been, or or whatever it's going to cost here, could have been used better for the defensive side of the football, which is where I think they will go um, with the few uh, draft picks that they have this next year. And I think that's another reason why they made this move is because they don't have much draft capital or... They don't have the same draft capital as they did uh, last year when they moved up uh, to get C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson. So, very aggressive move. This is an exciting move for NFL fans. I love this era uh, of the NFL where we're getting all these crazy trades and whatnot. Um, But, you know, overall, I'm fine with this fit. So, now we're going to save the juiciest part for last. How does this fit work in the locker room? Look, Stephon Diggs goes from being the clear number one option in his offense to now the number three guy, right? Nico's better than him. Tank Dell is better than him. I don't know how I feel about that. Is Diggs going to come in with a team first mentality, right? Whether or not you agree with, you know, the dramatics, obviously a lot of wide receivers do have diva tendencies. You know, I, I'm not so sure Tank Dell and, and Nico Collins are like that, right? Are, are they drama queens the same way that Stephon Diggs has been over his career? I don't know. You, you tell me down below because what you don't want to happen is a, a disgruntled group of wide receivers with a young quarterback in C.J. Stroud I think overall it's going to work out because I do think CJ is very, very, very good. I don't think it was just, you know, some rookie uh, fluke here. Man, I I am I, I am very interested in, in seeing how this is going to work out in terms of target share, um, it, it, especially, you know, if they potentially want to run the football more next year with, with Joe Mixon. Brevin Jordan is an interesting tight end they did pay Dalton Schultz what they paid him 
how this ball gets distributed is going to be so fascinating next year in Houston. So comment down below who is the winner of this move. It is power hour NFL boom. And tonight we're doing grilled chicken sandwiches. Let's go.